Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of HGV Talks. Long time no see. I don't think I've uploaded one of these in like a couple months. Has it been months? It might have been. Let me see. It's definitely been a minute. Um, I, you know, I had vacation come up. Yeah, last one was a month ago, a little over a month ago. And it was me talking about possibly going back to school, which did not end up happening this semester. Uh, so probably will be end up happening next semester. Uh, just try to get it done too late. And there were things that like paperwork that get done and like things that to apply for. And I just was with vacation and some thought I just was taking too long to get it done. <sighs> so uh, it's on me. I probably could have gotten it done in time, but it was just sort of too last minute. So, but I'm registered in the school, so I'm going to, get into that for next year but it is what it is um since then what is going on um it's very early right now i'm recording this right before it uploads it might not even be up by 8 a.m by the time i edit upload and all that stuff uh, it's like seven right now so we'll see how long this goes and how long it takes for me to get it uploaded but um What's going on? I got a list of games. I'll start with I'll start with content stuff. We'll keep it light to start. Let's do that. Uh, I want to switch things up. Not really super switch things up. But I just want to kind of add some add some variation to the stream. Uh, I kind of want to start doing a new quote unquote schedule of mixing in Radical Red Nuzlocke with heart gold iron mon on the iron on i mean i feel like we're getting i don't know i just feel like we're getting closer and closer like we keep getting runs that end up doing well like we're getting luckier and luckier but then you know we go 100 runs with no luck um so you know iron mon could go on forever who knows technically theoretically it could go on forever but i want to start doing iron mon like i want to say like monday wednesday friday and then I want to do Radical Red Nuzlocke like Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, obviously, Purgatory is still something that's, you know, we were talking about it a lot on stream yesterday. I'm trying to figure out a way to make it work and get it back in the mix. But I really think the Purgatory is something that huh, it works best when it's something that I'm doing more consistently. Like, I can't do it like twice a week. I feel like. It's something that I got to do more frequently for it to like really be good, but that's still in the works. We're trying to figure it out. Just haven't, haven't figured it out yet. But, um, what I want to do with stream is I want to have a system where people can donate and get votes put in. I think votes is the way I want to do it. Uh, for what game they want to see played on stream where I'll have like a list of games or options, you know, I'll have some, you know, like I wrote a list quick where Iron Man, Rad Red, Purgatory, uh, I put like a randomized Nuzlocke of a game, you know, say you want to see a vanilla blue Nuzlocke, you know, you can put some votes in for that. Or if you want to see a Pokemon Y Nuzlocke, I don't know, you know, if you want to just see like a, you know, kind of a generic Nuzlocke of a game or regular randomized or whatever it might be. Um, if you want to do that, you can put some votes in towards it. Um, I'm thinking of doing whatever gets the most. I don't know if I, I don't think I want to do, I was saying it backwards. I think I want to do every vote gives you like a chance, like on a wheel. I know you guys are addicted to wheel spins. So I'm thinking like, say we get a hundred subs and there's 10 for purgatory five for rad red oh, 80 for you know purgatory and then i don't know five for zelda i don't know then i would have a wheel with 80 options of one five of the other five of the other and ten of the other and spin the wheel you put five votes in you get your five raffle tickets in and you win out of the hundred congratulations you know but i think i think that's a better way to do it rather than someone say someone donates you know 20 gifted they really want to see me play a game and then Someone donates 25 at the last minute and then they just win the vote and the other 20 doesn't even have a chance. You know, I think having the, I think the more votes, the more chances, I think is the better way to do it. 
So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I got a list of games. Ooh, like I said, I got the Pokemon options. I put the PGA Golf, the one I've been playing recently. The first couple days, people were not feeling it. Like, the first day, second day. But more and more people have stuck around and starting to, like, you know, laugh at me, suck at golf. I put Tarkov, a Fortnite game or a Fortnite challenge. I don't know. Maybe we could do some, like, you know, win a game with only shotguns or something. I don't know. Or maybe we just play Fortnite. Um, Elden Ring, gambling. You guys like the gambling stuff still. A scary game option. Switch Sports. Uh, I also put like the classic games on the Switch. Like the, they have the Nintendo on there and um, like the N64 emulators and stuff. So like there might be some games on there that someone might want to see me play. Pokemon Stadium or something like that. Marco, what are you doing? Hi. Why are you growling? I can't tell if she's growling or meowing. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's kind of a, the option I want to do. Uh, the secondary part of it is I think I want to have Fridays be like a longer stream day where I do, you know, I do Iron Mon. Oh, sorry, you need more coffee. But yeah, I'm saying we do Iron Mon Monday, uh, Rad Red Tuesday, Iron Mon Wednesday, Rad Red Thursday, Iron Mon Friday, like morning, and then Friday, like afternoon, we do a second stream where whatever game of the week wins is the stream I do. But I also want to have, say, like it's 100 subs a week or something like that, where if we hit that sub goal of a total of 100 subs between, I guess, I probably won't be streaming whatever day, whatever the first day of the week I stream is. From then until the end of Thursday, if we hit, say, 100 subs a week, it's kind of what I was thinking, 100 subs collectively. If we hit that, then I'll do like a 12-hour stream on Friday or an 8-hour stream on Friday. Don't know the exact, exactly how I'm going to do it just yet. Just These ideas are just coming into play, and they're not going to be fully active right away unless by the end of the day in Discord I come to a conclusion of how I want to do it. But chances are, uh, actually, this probably would be a good week to do it. My wife works like crazy this week. She has a bunch of training she has to do, so... She has to work like a double one day. She's working like a 10-hour day. So this probably would be a good week to start it. Um, if I can figure it out between stream and Discord today, maybe I'll get it active. Um, can I actually... Let me see if I can find something real quick. Because I have like the subathon clock, the new one that I had gotten. I want to see the email that I do this with. Where is this? I swear I had saved this. Maybe I didn't. Um, here we go. Kick tools store. Kick tools. Bam. Here we go. I'm going to see if they have some sort of like a sub goals or something like that. Sub bar. Daily sub goal. Um, only track subscriptions per session. Resetting the widget or your streaming software will reset the count. Okay. Um. As you hit each server, the progress bar fully transitions to milestone. Integrates your software. Um, I can always update the sub goal and stuff. So this might this might work. This might work. I don't think Botrix. Oh, Botrix is what I used to use um, for a lot of my stuff on Kick, and they started putting stuff behind a paywall. Which I mean, more power to you. But. Goal of subscribers. Okay. There is one here. I could just use that one probably. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <coughs> but if you guys got any suggestions on that, if there's games that you want to see, um, or if you have a different idea of how we could do the, the voting system or however it might work, I feel like I feel like that could be a fun thing to do to give, you know, more Variation to the content throughout the week. 
<coughs> oh my gosh. Uh, between Rad Red and uh, Iron Mon. And then also some complete separate variety stuff. You know, I mean, whether you guys want to see me play, you know, Zelda or something like that. I don't know. I just mentioned Zelda earlier. Oh, just some old school, like, NES game that's on the Switch. I don't know. It'll be a fun thing to try from here, time to time. And I think the voting system would be fun. Oh, you're puking. That's what you were doing. Oh. Ugh, that was gross. That cat, she, my fluffy black cat, Morka, she has the be most beautiful coat of fur, and she cleans herself very well, and her fur is always so nice, but it creates lots of hair balls. And she just puked. Nice. Um, aside from that, what else is going on? So school isn't happening this semester, so that's on hold. Bowling just started back up. Uh, week one was... Okay, I mean, I bowled like a six. I bowled a six hundred series, so I'm happy with that. Are you still puking over that? Are you like not getting it out? Hold on. Um, bowling just started. I'm a, I'm a mess right now, guy. Okay? I am a mess. Uh. This, they didn't update that. I was going to see if there was information on the website about it yet, but not yet. So I think I bought a 600. I think I like just broke 600, which is good. It means I've averaged 200. I'm excited for bowling to be back in season. I got a hoodie on right now. I'm so happy about that. I love I love the fall and the winter. It makes me so happy. Um, so that's good. I am no longer drinking. Like for sure, for sure, not drinking anymore. Um, I got not a hundred percent yet, but like, I, I, I don't know, I probably have talked about this on here before. I don't know. I've been kind of like on and off with these podcasts for a while, but I've talked about it on stream or in discord. Um, but I have hepatic statosis, fatty liver, fatty liver is what I believe I have, which it's. Basically, from my understanding, I'm not a doctor. I'm not smart. It's basically like the first sign that like, however you're living your life, your liver's not keeping up. It's starting to fall behind. It's pretty much the best way I could explain it. Like, it's not cirrhosis of the liver or nothing like that. It's just like the first stage of just it becoming unhealthy, I guess. And it's like, not even like that bad. It's just like starting to be noticed. Um, so for me, one of the big things is alcohol is one of the biggest thing that works your liver, but also just like weight in general, like being overweight. And I've been, I've been kind of the same weight for a long time. I've been between like 190 and 200 for like five years. So, I mean, it's not like I've crazily, um, been like super overweight or anything like that for a long time but i've just always been kind of around this weight so one of the biggest things like I said, alcohol and weight for me alcohol and weight go hand in hand <laughs> as it is for most people the more frequently i drink the worse my weight is the less i drink the better my weight gets so gonna cut it out probably honestly i don't think i ever plan on drinking again i don't know maybe once in a blue blue moon once in a red moon i don't know what's more rare but we'll see what happens i just did like the ultrasound for it. And they said like, it shows like stuff like consistent with potentially being that or something like that. It wasn't like, I haven't talked to my doctor yet about it. I'm going there tomorrow. Um, but it is what it is. It's, I know a bunch of people that have been diagnosed with the same thing. And I've also seen a lot of people who get diagnosed with it, take a break from drinking and then go right back to it. And honestly, I feel like when it gets to a point like this, if you, keep drinking it's kind of just like feel kind of bad it's like at that point it feels like you're giving up and i don't i'm damn sure i'm not doing that so cutting that out gonna be getting back into hopefully going to the gym it's part of my schedule that i'm really having a hard time with right now and i need to figure out with mish what we should do 
with my schedule. So I basically was saying the days I want to play what games, but the time frames is what I'm still not 100% sure about. So I usually stream like afternoon. Like she works second shift, so she usually works at like two or three o'clock. I'll stream, you know, around that time for like three hours, more or less. Usually two and a half to three hours is usually about how long I like to go for. Um, but the start time kind of varies. With this schedule of trying to add in the long days on Fridays, she usually works Fridays. I think she gets like one Friday off a month. So I was talking about it last night, and I think Friday might be the best day. It's the end of the week. Uh, most people, Friday is probably a good day to do something like this. Um, but what I was doing earlier this year, earlier this year or later, I think it was earlier this year, um, like before this, like right before the subathon, I was doing. It was a short period of time where I kept the schedule, but it was like my favorite one that I've done, where I would get up for the gym like five thirty in the morning. Um. Well, I have, I have to get up at like five fifteen, get to the gym around five thirty, five forty five. I uh, get home around 7, 7.30. And then I would eat something, stream from like 8 to 11 or something. Like I would do like a morning stream, like a short morning stream. And then I'd get up, you know, my wife would wake up around 10, 11-ish because she works second shift. So she goes to sleep really late, wakes up later. And then we'd hang out for a couple hours before she went to work. And then I would do a second stream in the afternoon. The only issue with that for me is I like I don't know I like my YouTube schedule I've always done 8 a.m. videos I could change that I could do like a later start for the videos or I could do like noon time for the videos I don't know it's it's not really I'm kind of got my hands in two separate baskets I don't know what the phrase is uh most content creators I don't think there's many, I sure as hell don't know any that do like playthroughs on YouTube and also live stream like every day. I mean, I guess it doesn't have, to, I guess it's not really, I guess I'm looking at it from like a let's play suggestion, like a perspective where like I do consistent videos and also stream. I guess there's probably people that do like YouTube, but it's just like, like Tim the Tat Man, he's one of the few people I watch like. I barely watch streams, but if I do, it tends to be him just time frame wise. Like he uploads probably almost every single day. He has like seven different channels and he streams a lot, you know, consistently. But his videos, his, all his stream videos are pretty much just cut up from his stream and then uploaded to YouTube. It's kind of like he has so many viewers. He can kind of like just keep putting stuff out there and making stuff off of it. For me, a large majority of the people who watch the YouTube also watch my stream. It's like, and it's not, you know, tens of thousands like him. It's, you know, double digits <laughs> on streams and, you know, break a couple hundred on YouTube. So it's like for me to upload a video and then be live at the same time, it really affects the YouTube video depending on like when I go live to when it uploads. So it's for me to stream at like 8 a.m. and have a video go up at 8 a.m. It really kind of screws me if I... I like the upload at 8 a.m. because like people get up early. A lot of people get up early for work, either for their drive to work or they watch it on their lunch break. Um, and then the streams, you know, I kind of try to do them during the day. I don't want them like too, too early in the morning for a stream isn't always great because some people are West Coast or Central and by the time they wake up, I'm already done or something. So finding a time frame that really works is something I've always had a problem with, especially when you have viewership from Australia, you know, Europe, west coast east coast you know it's i the deep down i want to appeal to everybody but realistically i can't so i just gotta find a time frame that really works i think what's probably gonna work best is because now the gym membership i have i could bring someone with me so me and me can go to the gym together um so i won't be can't really go to the gym with my friend in the morning anymore because just getting up at five in the morning means I have to go to bed at 10. My wife gets out of work at 1030 the earliest. So it's like she gets home and I'm sleeping every single day and then cuts into, you know, 
my time with her. So what I could do is have my YouTube video up at eight. I could wake up with her a week ago to the gym. She likes going to the gym a lot. She likes going to the gym probably more than I do. So me and her can go to the gym in the morning, you know, spend that time together doing that. And then I can stream at like, I could just schedule either. I could just be at 3 p.m. every day rather than uh, the only other issue with that is like I have bowling on Thursdays. So bowling is at 6.30. So like I got, I usually like to leave the house around 5.40 to that so if i start at three it kind of would be a shorter stream on thursday which i guess isn't the end of the world if i do a long stream fridays so maybe that'll be the thing maybe i'll try to this isn't a confirmation but i'll try to say i'll do like a 3 p.m start time every day maybe i'll do like 2 30 it'll be the start time so that the days my wife works at two it'll be fine and the day she works at three i'll you know be streaming 10 minutes before she leaves you know I'll try to nail that time down, try to dial it in and get more, you know, confirmation on what time I want to do. But uh, I'll try to do like 2.30 to 5.30 or 6, you know what I mean? And then Thursdays, will... I really do want to lock in a time frame because I do feel bad for people that like watching the streams. They don't know when I'm going to be live all the time. You know, it's, it's tough. So I would like to appeal to everybody by doing that, at least having a consistent time frame. And then have the consistent YouTube uploads and yeah, go from there. Um, I think it's a good idea. I'm excited for it. I think the Fridays with, you know, the fan votes of what you guys want to see me play, playing some different games will be a lot of fun. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys got any suggestions or different ways I could do it or different things, yeah, you know, I could add into the stream or, you know, whatever. Let me know what you think and I'll answer the questions and i'll see you in the next one peace out